can I see? Uh, girls, 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 girls. Mom said, um, girls, mommy loves you, but, but, but I can't. She said she'll be here. You see, homelessness has no face. Homelessness has no race. In fact, yesterday we picked up the trash that was lying on the ground. Today we're searching for our mother and she's nowhere around. You see, homelessness has no face. Homelessness has no race. One month, a car accident takes away our father. The next month, crack cocaine comes for our mother. Bow your head, say your prayer, hustle hard, get the paper, extra yard, I'm a player, cake, 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 got extra layers, she cut throat, that's no joking, first lady so soft spoken, lay him down, call the pastor, welcome home to the Madisons, DK, DK, DK. sipping on the grapes of wrath, lock, 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 trying to walk this beaten path, rally, rally, I need a way, I see the light, been taught right, how to walk right, through it all the way in one night, wow. Now I'm praying for forgiveness, please, Lord, 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 Lord. Congregation all in my business. The Madisons. Bart, I don't think it's a good idea to invite your brother to the wedding. I mean, you know him and your father don't get along. Let alone imagine them in the same room together. Mm. He's my brother, Brad. He's coming. What did I tell you? Hold on, let's see who's at the door. Hey, Anna, hey, come in. Hi. How you doing? How you been? I'm all right. Good to see you. You okay? Um, yeah, I just have a little headache. Can you, you know, please talk to Laura? She thinks it's a good idea for her brother and her father to both come to the wedding. Let alone, they don't get along at all. Mm, uh, that sounds a little personal. I don't know. Maybe if you talk to her, she'll, she might change her mind. She might understand. No, she doesn't I listen to me. I will not. <laughs> yeah, I think y'all could work that out. Well, anyway, I'm going to need you to talk to her. I'm going to go get ready to catch my flight in New York. Would you believe the producers are thinking about moving my show to New York? Oh, is that so? So how are you doing, Lark? I'm good. good. Wait, wait, do you even have a date for the wedding? No, nah, I don't need Uh, no, no, she doesn't need a date. She's fine. Steven. <laughs> you don't need it. You don't, she doesn't need a date. No. Okay? All right. <laughs> okay. She, it's okay. You'll love her. I'm gonna go get ready. So, okay. how are you? I'm good. Okay. I just wonder sometimes, like, do you think about us? Like, how do you think about us? When you're picturing your future. <laughs> you know, when you're seeing all of the things that you said that you've always wanted. That we could have this, we could have all of this forever. Like, just, just us. <sighs> do you ever think about that? Absolutely. I, I'm just trying to get you to see things a little bit differently before you go and make this mistake because all that's going to happen is that you're going to just end up divorced anyway <laughs> because you're not being who you really are. I mean, do you not understand it? What are you doing? I'm not having this conversation. Wait, what? Don't excuse me. Fine, fine, Bart. I'm just trying to communicate again and you want to run away. Fine, cool, whatever. Oh my goodness. What? There are three little girls out there eating out of a trash can. Are you serious? Yes, look, they're right there. Trust in you whenever I go through, and I will lean on you instead of leaving. 
and everybody else I will depend on you and oh my God. We have to go I'm going to go get oh, yeah. it Wait, I'll, I'll come with you Cause I'm trusting and I'm Lord, it's Brad I missed my plane, open up Open up go, go, go. What are you doing? Open the door Okay, I'm going Took you so long to answer the door, Lord. Um, I just that was sleep. I'm sorry. <laughs> sleep. I'm just ready to lay it down after the day I had. Well, why don't you tell me about it? What happened? I don't feel like talking about it. I missed my flight. I got caught in traffic. It's just been one thing after another. I just want to restart my day. I mean, do you want something to eat? I mean, you're probably hungry. No, nah, I'm just ready to lay it on down. Um. You sure? Nah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm ready to cook, like, right now. Nah, I'm okay, man. I think I said, I just want you. I just want to lay it on down. Speaking of restarting the day, it's 2 o'clock. What are you doing in your underwear? I uh, was just relaxing. I didn't really feel like wearing clothes. Mm. Well, we, you can keep it on, because I'm ready to lay it on down. Um, that's, that's fine. Um, you're 100% sure you don't want to eat. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Like I said, with the day I had, I'm just ready to restart, take a nap. Get it over with. Okay. Um. Why? Why don't we? Uh, no mind. Just okay. You okay? Yeah. Um. I'm just ready to take a nap. Start over. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Seems like, like something's on your mind. <laughs> no, just glad you're here for another day. my kids could you just please bring them back this isn't funny and this isn't nice it's just hateful and I just want my kids back if you know anything please tell the authorities my nieces are the sweetest little girls in the world they definitely did this it's so sad for us here at Channel 13 News, but as we do further investigation into this, we want the Madison family to know that they will definitely be in our hearts as well as the rest of the community and our prayers. Constance Schuler here reporting live from Channel 13. Back to you at the studio, Jim. Yo! Hey, come on in. This kidnapping has my head blown. Can't sleep, can't eat. I'm glad you made that trip for me to Brooklyn, though. I really appreciate that, bro. Yeah, from BK to V, everything went smooth. Everything was smooth? Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. That's what I like to hear, baby. All right, let me see what you're working with. You said traffic on uh, 95 was all right? Yeah. All right, baby. Well, I see. Oh. Yeah. No, you sure do know how to make your man proud, baby. You know Dante. I'm Whoa. Like... What? Dante? Oh. What you mean, Dante? I mean, you, TK. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You mean to tell me this nigga blowing your back out, too? No. You letting this man smash? No. Just you, TK. No, man. It's got to be some flower bringing, some slow singing. Nah. Mm -mm. You know it's your baby. It's my baby. Yes. You sure it's my baby? Yes. Definitely. You can look me in my eyes and say it's my baby. Yes. All right. 
gonna see about that. <laughs> we gotta see about that. So you love me. Don't talk about it, be about it. Yeah, candy. Damn. Get rid of it. That's boss. That's boss. I don't care where to. I don't care what you do with it. Just get rid of it. This is in business. Yes, sir, boss. Strip the person. Street family gang right there. I see him. There they go. That's him. Hey, hey, run, stop, stop the truck. Yeah, all the way, all the way. Oh, snap. There they go right there. Oh. Oh yeah, my man here, we got him now. Gerd is out here shooting. Yes, they're out here shooting. Gerd is better than you too. Oh yeah, he gonna get shot. He can't even shoot. Don't let me leave. No, I'm done with my bill. Where my boss's kids at, nigga? I'm sorry, thanks, oh, snitch. Nigga, I said where my boss's sorry, kids at. I know you know where they at. Oh, snitch. I'm sorry, thanks, oh, snitch. Hey, boss, you want to give him a clothes casket? Uh, feed this nigga to the pits. That's enough, that's enough, boss. That's enough, boss. That's enough. You got him. Make sure Seventh Street got a message. A fiery message. believe that the violence in our cities is this bad. I have some of my biker family and we have joined together because we're going to help the mayor and the pastor to do something about the violence in the city. It doesn't make any sense at all that we have this kind of violence. And I mean no sense at all. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Professor Khan, and I was Carter's teacher. And I, 
I've spent my whole life thinking that doing education would help these children become something that could achieve the dreams that they expected to do. I'm tired of coming to these things. Austin. Carter was a great guy, an excellent student, and had the potential to be great in this world. We've lost another one. We need to stand up as a community, start recognizing the fact that these kids have a right to succeed. This is something that we've generated as a community. And we need to stand up and support our kids to become the man and the women that they deserve to be. Hello, I'm the father, and right now I'm just short a few words right now. Uh, me and my wife lost our son. Right now she's not here, but I'm here to show support for my son. And we will miss him. And wish I could see him right now, but I know I can't. So I don't have too much to say, but this is a bad day for me right now. Thank you. As one of the clergymen in the city, I want to take this time to say thank you to Channel 22. I want to thank the professor for coming and all of these wonderful bikers who are here to show support to Carter's father and family and to come together to unite to make a positive difference in our city as we in the community have said enough is enough. We've come together on today, not only to pray for the family, but to stand united with the family, to say we're going to partner with bikers, police department, politicians, churches, businesses, schools, and residents of the community to stop these senseless acts of violence. And we're gonna need you and your support in the community that are not here. We're gonna need you to contact the churches and the mayor's office and the family to let them know that you're standing strong with them because together we all can make a positive difference in our community and stop these senseless acts of violence. Thank you so much. Mayor Charleston, we are tired of these kids getting murdered in the streets. What you gonna do about it? I'm handling that. Handle on it. You live in this city just like we do. Yes. You gotta do better. We're tired of these things happening to our children. Mayor, Ch Mayor Charleston, just the other day, I seen two kids running down that street. Mm. Sure did. And do you know why they were running? I'm not sure why. They were running from drug dealers. Mm. They got shot down. They were shot down. They got shot down. And you're shaking your head. Yes, yes. You don't need to take my name. Yes. You, what? I'm sorry, what's your name, ma'am? Mrs. Merman. Okay, Mrs. Merman, Albright. Yes. All right, yes, ma'am. And Mrs. White would like to discuss something. Mrs. With White, Albright. Right. Yes, ma'am. How you doing? This is right. just long way, long, long, long. She's going to do your job. Yes, All yes, right? definitely, definitely. Yes, ma'am. We voted you in here. Yes, ma'am. And we will vote your tail out. You out. Right, right, right. And so right. we want something done about yes. the situation right. that's yes. going on, okay? <laughs> Our children, we need them to be better in school yes, mm. yes so right. we want you to do just what we want you to do you understand you're right you all want y'all right all right we know we're right mayor charles yes, 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 yes we know we know that we're right but we want a response we want some action, action. we're going to have action. Action. action or you will see us again yes you will this is not the last time not the last time not see us again because we're coming back we will okay we'll get Vote your tail out. Uh, yes, we you will. Understand? Quick. Yes. All right. Fast. Yes. And then right. yes. her. Yes. All right. Do we make ourselves clear? Of course. Don't let I us hope have perfectly back. clear. Perfectly. Okay. And don't let us have to come back. Because you you're won't. not gonna like it. I no. Won't. All right, now wipe the sweat off your brain. <laughs> Problems with some ladies the other day, man. You doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing good. Cool, cool, doing all right, man. Now, um, heard you also had some tire problems. Yes, yes, tires. You know, that's no. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I want you to get that taken care of. All right. Oh. We can't have our maid driving around in a Uber, or Lyft, or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, um, if you need anything, you let me know. 
Gotcha. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. yes, sir. Anything. Yes, sir. You let me know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> Take it easy. Man. All right. All right. All right. Yes, So we're sitting here with Ginger Jones, all right? The uh, fiance yes. of Mr. Big Shot himself. Yep. Okay? <laughs> I'm talking about Team Riley, Riley Madison, the million dollar man getting ready to go to the NFL, all right? It's a lot of allegations floating around, okay? A lot of people coming forward saying that they think that he's guilty of these things. But you, you called us and you wanted to come in to refute this. I'm here to prove my man's innocence. Okay, we're well, listening. My audience is your audience. I feel like, you know, this girl just came out of the woodwork. She's so, she, I honestly feel like she wants my spot. I, and when you say your spot, what do you, you think, you think that this girl just wanted him so she decided to say she was raped? Why, why would he have to rape her? There's no reason why we, he would even have to rape her. She invited him to her apartment. I, th that's cool, but you weren't there. You How, weren't there. <laughs> no, you, you're absolutely right. I wasn't, okay? But I know, I know this guy. I, I used to hang with his brother, TK. He used to have all of the women after him when he was younger. Okay, We'd that was all then. The, that was then. This is now. I know my moment. man. I know he would never do anything like that. But this is the same man that went to the room with this lady. You know what? I'm not saying that he would, but you know, there's a lot of talking going on that this might not have been the first incident. This is just the first reported incident. But I know my man and he would never do anything like that. All right, so what I'm trying to figure out is, let's say he didn't rape her. Okay. Will you at least admit he slept with this woman? He was drunk. Like, who thinks straight when they're drunk, first of all? Okay, so if you're open to that, then you have to at least be open to the possibility that she said no. I'm not open to it. I know my man. He would never, he doesn't have a reason to have to rape her. Now, I, I, you know what? He doesn't. No one does. But the reality is, this is that guy. Every woman around here is talking about this guy. Right. This guy's about to make a lot of money. Right. Everybody knows it. And that's why she's saying that he raped her. Oh, so you're saying it's a money play. It definitely is. So he has no responsibility in any of this. He did not rape this girl. You know it's going to be tough trying to prove that. My man is innocent. You know what, let me see that. Look. See, she's, she looks good. Like, you see the women on social media throwing themselves at him? They're fine. But I got the ring. <laughs> they might be pretty and all, but I'm not losing my spot. Okay, I hear you. There's a lot of people who probably disagree with your stance right now. Let, let, let's check these phone lines. See if you can handle this. Okay. Hey, what's going on? Hey, I just want to let you know, I think, is she cray-cray or is she ratata or something like that? Because look, I just want to know, how can you not know that your man is a hoe, okay? He is obviously, Riley Madison is a hoe, everybody knows that. Wow. And I am so sick and tired of all these girls walking around talking about, they man did not do this, they man did not do that. Your man is a hoe, and you know that. You need to stop defending him, and you need to get with the program. Men are going to cheat, that's what they do. Can Men we just cheat. hang up with that? somebody like You know what, I don't even want to do this, I'm done. Okay, thanks Carla, we appreciate you. Uh, we'll be right back.
Well, where are you going? Well, you know, anytime I can help y'all sister daughter, you just let me know. Okay, I'll think on that. I'll think on it. Well, maybe I can come upstairs, go about Bible verses. Get your hand off of me. Oh, oh, you man. have no authority over me. You need Jesus. You need the Holy Ghost with your horror mongering demonic spirit self. Well, let me come upstairs and we Make can me go drop my Bible. We can go about Bible verses. I'm going over what? Bible verses with you? Well, maybe I should because you do need Jesus. Well, maybe I can help a good girl turn bad. Let me help you Get out. Your Let me help you make me. You smile. How are you gonna help me? How are you gonna help me smile? I smile. I smile. I smile enough for me. I don't need a smile for you. Are both I both your don't lips need smiling? That. My lips smile all the time. Let me see. That's not what I'm talking about. How much about. smiling are you? What I smiling? What type of smiling are you talking about? You know what type of smile I'm talking about? Not with those lips. Well, I tell you what, you bring it on in. And you better not, you better not be bad at it. You better be good. Just trust me. Well, come on in. Come on. That's what we I'm could go ahead and do this and you better not fall short. You hear me? I got you. You better prove yourself or else the whole congregation will hit this. That's what I'm talking come about, on. yes. We gonna do this. Come I on. Need, I need a Toyota, yeah! Yes, got a brother talking in tongues. I need, I need a Toyota, yeah! It's going down. Come on, Eddie. That's the reason why you wore that nut. Wait. You just wait. Wait. Lord, have mercy. Bow your head, say your prayer, hustle hard, get the paper, extra yard, I'm a player, cake, 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 got extra layers, she cut throat, that's no joking, first lady so soft spoken, lay him down, call the pastor, welcome home to the Madisons, TK, TK, sipping on the grapes of wrath, lock, 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 trying to walk this beaten path, rally, rally, I need a way, I see the light, been taught right, how to walk right, through it all the way in one night, wow. Now I'm praying for forgiveness. Please, Lord, Lord, Lord. Congregation, all in my business. The evil is persistent as Jehovah is my witness. Then they tighten up and brighten up. But an axe is on my wish list. I did it against her wishes. My block of goons and misfits. This side thing won't go away. My church juicy like citrus. Nine out of ten is crooked. Pastor out there looking. They faking like it's alright. The Madison's is something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gotta bring it in. Gotta find a way back. Gotta sacrifice what you took, gotta pay back. Pay back, pay back, pay back. This the season of the reaping. Of the reaping. Watch the company you keep it. Watch it. Bow your head, say your prayer, hustle hard, get the paper, extra yard, I'm a player. Cake, 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 got extra layers. She cut throat, that's no joking. First lady, so soft spoken. Lay him down, call the pastor, welcome home to the Madisons. TK.